Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can find authority check for a particular transaction code. Okay, um, so here if, if you notice I am in BP transaction, so I just again start from scratch. I have BP transaction and here this is the thing I have. So I just can click on this. Uh, so from here, what I can do, I click on system status. Okay. And here is the program. So suppose I get, I'll take this program name, locator, and this this works perfectly with other transaction like every sixty and all those things. Let's check whether it works here. S U I M. This is the transaction code, and here I can do authorization object, and here I will select authorization object by complex things. And probably what I'll be doing is instead of taking the object, I think I have to take the, the 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 package. So if I double click on the program, I go to attributes, and here this is my package. So I'll search with package these tools, and I execute. And here we don't get anything. So that's why I was saying. Sometimes for the normal transactions it works, so we just search with Google Plus. Uh, it doesn't have anything. Well, we'll find something. Bu star. Here we see that is stuff that is there. So for business partner Bu, let's try to do something related differently. Uh, we'll do it for slash and FB60. Okay, and here suppose I want to put. I want to find all the authority object. Now, getting an authority object is fine, but that doesn't mean that uh, it may be called all the time. Okay, so here, if you see, this is the program. I double click on it. Okay, and if I go to attributes, and if I click on FBAs, we take the package. The same thing. I go and I search now here, and I execute. Here I can see all the authorization object related with this transaction code. So here you can see there is a posting period. You have company code, document ties, vendor, customer. These are very important stuff that you want. So we will do another similar one for suppose ME22N. I just for just checking. Okay, ME22N. We'll do. Um, here I am. Steve system status. I go. Same thing, you go to double click on the program, you go to attributes, and you take the package. This will give you more this ME speak, so it will give you a lot of stuff. So let's see here, yeah, you see, there's a lot of stuffs here. So these are the stuffs that you can use. <clears throat> and these are the different activities and all those things. Now let's try to do for Mm, what we want to do another one that we can do is uh, me 22 and we did now we will try to do va02 okay let's see va02 i'll go to system i go to status same thing i go here program and go to attributes and i select the va okay and now I go to again SUIM. Let me show you where from where I got authorization object by complex selection criteria. I put this and I execute. And here I get everything. So this is very useful. There's another way you can debug and find it out. Okay. So these are the different ways you can get it. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.